Hi, good greetings and good afternoon to all. Uh, good morning, the ones in the East uh, Coast, Mauricio, who is in California, hello. I would like to mention that since we are a bilingual consortium, first of all, we will conduct this info session in both English and Spanish so that our colleagues in the states that will be watching this recording can take advantage of the information we are about to share. As a pioneer organization in the use of technology in higher education with vast expertise and resources, our mission is to continue providing support to the academy, academic community. Excuse me. Today, we are thrilled to announce the third edition of the Head Learning Technology, Technologies Leadership Academy after our chairman, Dr. Carlos Morales, here with us, proposed this academy to the head board of directors back in February 2021. We have been working nonstop during the past academic year to make this initiative a reality, and we thank those who already participate on the initial uh, editions and all of you for showing interest and attending today's Info Session. Saludos a todos. Como una organización pionera en el uso de la tecnología en la educación superior, nuestra misión es continuar apoyando a la comunidad académica a través de programas educativos como lo es la Academia de GES y nos complace anunciar que la Academia entra en su tercera edición. We will also like to thank the GES Academy, the academic faculty, uh, sorry, the head team and the evaluation committee members. Eh, quisiéramos agradecer a varias personas claves en esta iniciativa, en especial a los miembros del comité evaluador, which, who are Dr. Sumaya Villanueva, assistant provost of the Academy Engagement Office of the Undergraduate Studies at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Also, Dr. Marixa Ortiz, Institutional Director, Accreditation and Licensee at Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. Dr. Javier Turner, Information Security Officer at California State University, San Bernardino. And Mr. Hector Suarez, Educational Technology Specialist and Blackboard Administrator at Al Albizu University in San Juan Campus. And Ms. Chelsea Cali, Director of Southeast Missouri State University online. Some of them are here with us today, so thank you again for your commitment. Gracias a todos por su compromiso. We hope that this academy, uh, this academy is suitable to your professional goals of becoming one of the next generation leaders. Esperamos que consideren a la academia un vehículo para apoyarlos y alcanzar sus metas profesionales de convertirse en la próxima generación de líderes. Through the Heads Academy, let me eh, pass to the next slide. Eh, to the Heads Academy, you will have the opportunity to participate in synchronous presentations coordinated by recognized leaders on the higher education economy, network with peers who promote and facilitate the adoption of teaching and learning technology at the academic faculty, develop competencies and skills to help you create an in or enhance projects and initiatives at your institution and also have the opportunity to present them at the head best practices showcase that the next one will be in February uh, 2023 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. A través de la academia tendrán la oportunidad de participar de presentaciones sincrónicas ofrecidas por líderes de la comunidad de educación superior, intercambiar experiencias con colegas, desarrollar destrezas que le ayudarán a crear u optimizar proyectos e iniciativas en sus respectivas instituciones con la oportunidad de presentarlos en nuestro Best Practices Showcase que el próximo será en Puerto Rico en febrero del 2023. Now I am pleased to introduce, introduce Dr. Carlos Morales, our head chair, to share his welcome remarks and talk about the academic curriculum and its faculty. Ahora les presento al Dr. Carlos Morales, presidente de la Junta de Directores de Head. Adelante, Dr. Morales. Thank you, Jubelkis. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope that you are doing well and that you can hear me. Am I, am I coming across a yes. loud and clear? Good. Uh, again, greetings to all and welcome. Uh, we are 
very pleased uh, to announce the third edition of the Heads Academy, as uh, Dr. Montalvo mentioned uh, before. Uh, during the initial editions, we had a, a total of 53 candidates that were selected through a very competitive application process, and those candidates participated during four intensive days of synchronous presentations designed, as Jubelkin mentioned, uh, to provide uh, them with the competencies to prepare professionals to advance um, technologically enriched initiatives uh, that then support and transform their institutions. We hope that uh, all of you that have expressed interest in this uh, um, uh, uh, academy this afternoon, at least in the information session, that you benefit from the networking with peers who are working uh, at various institutions uh, in the United States and Puerto Rico to promote and facilitate the adoption of teaching and learning technologies. Uh, as I mentioned, the academy convenes uh, leaders in higher education from various areas of expertise and I am pleased to be one of them. Let me let me mention that uh, there are eight uh, areas, eight different topics, and those are uh, as follows. Uh, the area of academic technology, which um, will be offered in English and Spanish, and the faculty member delivering that uh, topic is Mr. Francisco Garcia. He's the director of the Center for Online Learning and Teaching Technology, um, the acronym is CALT, and he is located at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, I think that uh, Francisco is here. There he is waving. Thank you, Francisco, for, mm -hmm. for being with us uh, once again in um, the Academy. Uh, next, we have uh, the section of teaching and learning, which will be offered um, in English by uh, my namesake, Carlos Guevara, who is the director of the Office of Educational Technology and co-director of the Center for Teaching and Learning at Hostos Community College in New York, part of the CUNY system, as well as uh, by Dr. Ana Mileni Lukumi, who is the Innovation Learning Design Manager at GEO, and she will be offering the Spanish version of that area. I think that they are here in attendance. If they can wave, I see uh, Carlos. Uh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if Ana Milena is uh, here in the audience, but thank you. Thank you both for your availability and willingness to share your knowledge and expertise uh, with the, with the uh, audience and membership of HEADS. Uh, another area of, of uh, interest uh, that we found that you will benefit uh, from is instructional slash curriculum design. And we will have, of course, uh, two tracks. And uh, the English version will be offered by uh, Dr. Lisbel Correa, and she is Associate Professor of uh, Humanistic and Pedagogical uh, uh, Subjects, if you will, uh, the Department of uh, Inter-American University of Puerto Rico. Ponce campus, and I think I see Dr. Correa mm -hmm. uh, in yes. attendance. She's she's waving, and and just by the way, she's my boss in <laughs> other in other assignments. So uh, and we'll talk about that later, right? And she's uh, a new faculty member, so welcome. <laughs> yes, she's a new faculty member, and right? thank you for for being available. Uh, similarly, uh, in the Spanish version of instructional and curriculum design. Uh, will be offered by Dr. Giselle Tapia, who is Director mm -hmm. of Licensing and Accreditations at Ana Jiménez University Coupe Campus. And I think I saw Giselle, mm -hmm. uh, yes. my esteemed colleague. Giselle, good to see you as well. Uh, she's, she's a new faculty as well. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you both for, for accepting the, the invitation and the challenge. Uh, the, the fourth area of interest is online learning. Uh, again, a synchronous session that will be offered in English and Spanish by Carlos Guevara, who you met a few minutes ago. Uh, so uh, thank you, Carlos, mm -hmm. for, for being available uh, for both topics. Uh, we found that uh, everything we do um, in digital learning and in teaching and, and learning uh, is grounded on data. So uh, there is a topic uh, labeled uh, data for digital learning and depending mm -hmm. on which which part of the United States you are is data or data okay so mm -hmm. uh, it will be offered in both English and Spanish by uh, Mr. Javier Zavala he is the director of the Office of Planning and Institutional Studies and Accreditation at the University of Puerto Rico Bayamón campus I saw him waving so thank you Javier for uh, mm -hmm. being with us 
uh, in this in this endeavor. Uh, equally important is professional development, and and again, this is a professional development activity. But uh, how you relay that and how you are successful in implementing those initiatives is another area of of expertise that we are trying to develop in in the attendees, and that will be offered in English by Francisco Garcia, who you met a few minutes ago, and the mm -hmm. Spanish version will be offered by Dr. Alice. Giovanna Casanova, who is the Institutional Academic Dean of Distance Education at uh, Albizu uh, University. So, uh, Dr. Casanova, is, I think that you are in, a, in attendance. Mm -hmm. There she is. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, my esteemed colleague as well. Um, the area of administration and quality uh, is equally important uh, as uh, we are managing those projects. Uh, we are uh, uh, helping others attain competencies and again the buy-in as we as we move the agenda forward so we will have for the english and spanish versions dr wilfredo nieves who is mm -hmm. president emeritus at capital community college and commissioner for the new england commission of higher education and the middle states commission on higher education and wilfredo thank you for your mm -hmm. uh, willingness and availability i think that i uh, saw you <laughs> before Oh, there he is. There he is. I see you. Thank you. Thank you for waving. And um, lastly, project management, which is the topic that I will be uh, delivering uh, both in English and Spanish. So that is the curriculum that we have uh, put together. You see the image of pretty much everything and everybody that will be contributing for uh, these, these topics that we have identified. So again, uh, very, very happy and excited for this opportunity. So Yubelki, uh, back to you. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, President Morales and the Academy faculty for your support and commitment to this important initiative. And gracias, Presidente Morales, y a los miembros de la facultad por su compromiso con esta iniciativa. Queremos rapidito darle más información. The Academy faculty with, will interact with the participants for four days uh, following this schedule that you see here, discussing two topics per day, as you may see on the slide, on three hour sessions each. La Facultad de la Academia va a interactuar con los participantes durante cuatro días consecutivos, eh, cubriendo dos temas por día en sesiones de cuatro, de, perdón, de tres horas cada tópico. Y to successfully complete the Academy, all candidates must first complete the pretest, second, access all sessions, eh, synchronous sessions, and have audio and or camera turned on. Third, actively participate through comments, questions on the or, or the chat and complete the posts and evaluation at the conclusion of the academy. And of course, during each topic, you will be doing pra uh, different exercises and everything that you need to participate at. At the end of uh, at the end, participants who have met all requirements will receive a continuing education certificate of 24 contact hours and for the first time. We are pleased to announce that they, they will receive a digital badge to share as part of their professional profiles. And let me tell you that the ones that already graduate will be receive the digital badge as well as soon as we set up this uh, in the new platform we had just acquired. Para completar exitosamente la academia deben completar una preprueba, acceder a todas las sesiones sincrónicas, participar activamente de las discusiones y completar una postprueba al con y al concluir la academia, eh, los participantes que hayan con cumplido con todos los requisitos te recibirán el certificado de educación continua de 24 horas contactos y por primera vez Eh, anunciamos que recibirán un digital badge que podrán compartir como parte de sus perfiles profesionales. Now, I would like to share eh, some insights on the academy and what better way than to hear the experiences from our graduates. Today, we have with us Margaret Diaz, Instructional Director of EDP, eh, the picture on the middle. Also, Gloria Inés Lindo, faculty member from Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia on the left. And also, we have Mauricio eh, Cavadiz, Senior Instructional Designer and faculty member at California State University, San Bernardino. Ahora quisiéramos compartir, y para esto voy a parar la presentación para que podamos vernos todos, eh, 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 con ustedes las impresiones de algunos de nuestros egresados. 
First, we would like to ask Margaret, what motivated you to apply for the Heads Academy and what did you enjoy the most from this experience? Eh, primero, quisiéramos preguntarle a Margaret, ¿qué te motivó a solicitar para participar de la academia y qué fue más lo, lo que más disfrutaste de esta experiencia? If you could please answer in English for the benefit of the one that are not, Bella, eh, are with us from the US, it will be great. Go okay. ahead, Margaret. Perfect. Good afternoon to all and thank you for being here. Well, my experience, um, I attested and went to the academy, assisted to the academy and applied um, to the first academy that was in English um, because it was a very, it's a, a curriculum that is toward um, developing specific um, competencies in professors and administrators. In the university I work at, well, I'm a designer. I work in the administrative area. I used to um, be the director of a design school, of the design school. And I work in very um, different um, spaces in the university with curriculum, instructional design, um, distance education, some little things. So it was an, an opportunity to be able to look at the whole process of what a real leader in, the, in, the, in an institution should be. From the practice, to the education, to the implementation, and at the same time, that overall with the data, as Carlos was mentioning, that is important to see that what we're doing is functional and other ways of doing it. At the same time, you have the opportunity to be with other colleagues from other universities that have similar practices or similar procedures, or maybe they have totally different procedures on doing the same thing we would be doing in our university, especially um, with um, distance education, with um, continuing education, or the development of new curriculums. And you have the opportunity to actually see how other people, you know, other colleagues do things in their university. And we can be on the same track, but we can be also on different tracks, but be able to converge in the same place and, and see different views and perspectives. And so the Academy, um, looking at that overall was a, an opportunity to, to be able to go through that experience. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Margaret, uh, for your insights. E now, Gloria, uh, what has been the applicability of the skills and knowledge acquired through the Head Academy? Gloria, ¿cuál ha sido la aplicabilidad, según tu experiencia, de las destrezas y conocimientos adquiridos a través de la Academia de Head? In your case, you can... Uh, uh, Reply either in English or Spanish. Gloria? We can hear you, probably you're in mute. Yes, yes, ah, sorry, sorry, right. yes. <laughs> No was, problem. I was mute, okay. Um, my name is Gloria Lindo. I'm sharing this experience from Cali, Colombia. My university is Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia, but I want uh, to let you know, um, that we are 18 universities around Colombia. We come to different rural areas in which other universities don't, don't have the, a, a space. And through the experience at the, at the academy, I want to reflect on all of, uh, of all I learned. For example, from the different curricula, as one of the members mentioned before, through all our session, we have daily activities in which we learn a lot and had the opportunity to share with people from all over the world. It is a good opportunity to learn from each other and meet members of different institutions. As well, after uh, having all those experience through uh, the days at the academy, uh, we come up with a project in which we are working right now with our students, oh, sorry, with my colleagues, which are my mentors. Uh, we had a project to increase the digital, the digital abilities students as well as teachers need to know in this world and especially after the pandemic 
that we had discovered that we did we before we didn't uh, know before that we had those kind of experience mm -hmm. uh, and those and those competences in our daily life and i enjoy a lot to be every day here with you belkis and with all members mm -hmm. and all teachers uh, from the academy and okay. in this moment uh, i want to let you know all members all people who are here that in this uh, we are working because uh we saw that the a university needs something very important is to uh, promote the digital competence in our students and as as teachers and um, thank you very much for this opportunity and i was i was not prepared to speak in, in english because my <laughs> part in the academy was in spanish but don't worry because i'm an english teacher and mm -hmm. it, it's uh, a good opportunity to be here and to share my experience of many, many, many years teaching mm -hmm. and in the United States as well in, in Colombia. And also, Gloria, share a little bit about your project that is actually with the English uh, courses that you offer at the, your institution, right? Yes. As part of the of the. Yes, we, we, we mm -hmm. consider our students and teachers have some problems in the development of, of a skill, which is very important right now after the pandemic, as I told before, the digital mm -hmm. competence. And we are uh, relating, uh, we are connecting that, that digital competence in, uh, in the levels of English we are teaching. Like, for example, we are going to uh, uh, have the, our design in order not to or to have something apart like the digital competence and the English that to connect uh, to connect both of them and to start teaching because uh, as you know maybe we think that young people have the whole experience because they know about social media and those and all that that stuff but it's not true because sometimes they you have your online classes and they don't know how to work in 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 a format or they don't know how to do when they are presenting something or when they have to show us a video or something like that we are connecting the contents we are teaching with the digital competence they need in each case but not all the time digital competence we 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 come up with an idea that they have to be related with it it's content we are teaching and the level we need uh, that we are teaching and we are come we we think we can come up with something higher at the end when they finish their four levels of english excellent thank you thank you so much and i hope that when you have results of your project you could be uh, part of the best practices showcase that we will held in Puerto Rico in February. So, and <laughs> Mauricio, yes, you will talk. <laughs> so funny. Now let's ask Mauricio from your best perspective as administrator and faculty member, who do you, how do you consider the Hedge Academy can benefit both faculty and administrative staff? Mauricio, desde tu perspectiva como administrador y miembro de la facultad que haces ambos en tu institución, ¿cómo consideras que la Academia de GES puede beneficiar tanto a la facultad como a los administradores? Gracias, Yubel, que bienvenido a todos. <risa> como, como Gloria entonces lo hizo en inglés desde Colombia, yo lo voy a hacer Ajá. en español para practicar, ¿listo? Tú me dijiste Perfecto. que era en español, entonces vamos a ver cómo me va, luego me dan una calificación. Um, <risa> Bueno, bienvenidos a todos. Mira, yo también soy un egresado del primero, de la primera academia en, en inglés y fue espectacular. Yo acá en la Universidad de, de California, de San Bernardino, tengo varios puestos uh, en parte administrativo, en parte, el mayor parte es uh, Instructional design, Designer y también soy un Agent Professor, de manera que lo pude ver desde tres puntos um, específicos. Entonces, esto es lo que preparé la respuesta, a ver cómo me va que la academia está estructurada desde tres puntos de vista muy importantes. El primero es con un énfasis en entender los aspectos importantes de currículo, tanto desde el punto administrativo como uh, el punto académico o de pedagogía. Uh, los temas que um, se vieron en detalle, uh, las prácticas para enseñar en línea o precisamente um, para entender, recuerda que cuando hicimos la, la academia estábamos todavía en esto del COVID, entonces muchas de las universidades habían pasado de face to face presenciales a todo esto del online, ¿verdad? Entonces las universidades estamos 
como medio de, de pelos parados sin saber qué hacer y la academia llegó en un momento perfecto para decir, bueno, qué es lo que tenemos que hacer. Entonces ese es el primer punto. El segundo fue desde el punto de vista de la facultad. ¿Qué hacemos para trabajar con todos los profesores, con la facultad, para prepararlos desde el punto de vista de diseño de clases en línea, um, presenciales o híbridas, en fin? Um, que, tengan, que sean efectivas, ¿verdad? No solamente para lo que se tenga que enseñar, sino también para los estudiantes y que los estudiantes puedan salir con uh, la información y, y el conocimiento necesario que se necesita. De manera que lo miramos uh, en la academia, miramos la importancia de, de entender y utilizar efectivamente uh, tecnologías que son uh, precisamente diseñadas para, para, la, uh, para um, la enseñanza. Um, y también vimos, hicimos un análisis de lo que es la diferencia entre tecnologías que son hechas para enseñar y tecnologías que son hechas para ense eh, aprender, ¿verdad? Y finalmente, la academia presentó de manera muy detallada la importancia de entender lo que es el manejo efectivo de proyectos, el project management, y la colección de análisis y datos. Um, una vez las universidades se mueven en línea, hay, hay mucha información que puede ser um, utilizada, ¿verdad? Para uh, los departamentos, las facultades, Uh, administrativamente, en fin, entonces miramos en detalle lo que fue eso y la importancia de cómo crear, manejar y ejecutar programas de desarrollo profesional. Yo creo que uno de los problemas que tenemos en este momento es que todo está pasando tan fast, tan rápidamente que no hay oportunidad de, de presentar programas en donde se puede hacer uh, professional development para todos aquellos, ya sea para los, la facultad, faculty development, o para nosotros um, los que somos staff como um, Professional development. De manera que esta academia está definitivamente diseñada de una forma práctica y profesional para todos aquellos que están en capacidad de administración, facultad o, como yo, diseñadores. ¿Cómo me fue? Oh, my God. Excelente. <laughs> okay. No se me ha olvidado so, el español, entonces. Very Gracias. good. Gracias. So, thank you. In 10 seconds, all of the graduates, uh, could you please share? Uh, What, what will, why, no what, what would you recommend others to go through the head academy experience very quickly or very fast since we want to open the session, Bella, to questions. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Margaret, you were the first if you want to share. You should apply to the academy because it's an opportunity to see technologies, to see procedures, to see areas that you can work on to better off the um, academic offering at your university at the same time to help you develop for other areas in your professional career. Excellent, Gloria. Sorry? Uh, wh why, why would you recommend others to go through the head academy experience? ¿Por qué oh. recomendarías a, a otros a pasar por la experiencia de la academia? Bien uh. rapidito. No, 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 not so fast. I, I can't because it was a nice, it was one of my best experiences uh, I ever had in my life because it was uh, every day I was waiting for the day and for the moment I, I could learn from you and you could learn from us, of course, because it was, it was something that we shared together. And I am going to recommend because you, I'm going to do my best in order mm -hmm. to post in Instagram or different mm -hmm. social media, because I, I was very happy here. But at the first moment when I reduced for the academy I was like in shock I didn't know what what what, what was going to happen and it was like what is I, I was asking uh, uh, at Universidad Cooperativa the person who uh, uh, invited me to come to the academy mm -hmm. and they said no I, I don't have too much idea about it but try try and I said okay I'm gonna try I did my best and I think all of us all of you who are in this moment uh, going to start the next uh, the next sessions of uh, our academy and that you're gonna have fun you are gonna learn a lot through mm -hmm. the whole curricula you are uh, you are teaching us excellent thank you mauricio your turn in english <laughs> okay in english <laughs> um i put it in the Funny. chat but you know um it's really important to recognize and to realize that we're no longer working in silos. Um, we all are required and called 
you know, to develop certain skills that sometimes, um, you know, we're, we're not able to. And the academy truly does a wonderful job um, in preparing you into understanding, as I said, from a uh, administrative perspective, from the faculty, from designers, you know, for you to be able to work together in different teams with the university to, you know, focus on developing programs for the faculty administrations and, and students. So um, this was an amazing experience uh, for me. You should definitely consider joining the, the academy in English or in Spanish. Um, you're going to come out learning way more than you could do, you know, if you just you know, simply took courses on in any of these uh, particular topics. So um, best decision that you can make, and I highly recommend it. Thank you. Thank you for your kind comments, all of you. And in this slide, you will see that we remind you that the date deadline to apply is October 24. So soliciten antes, en o antes del 24 de octubre is already open in our website. Uh, and as you may see, we have different uh, faculty members for the Spanish edition. The faculty members that offer those sessions are available from November 7 to 10. And if we have a group for the English edition, then November 15 to the 18 will be the date where the faculty uh, who offers the English edition will be available. So, eh, puede contactar, les recordamos la fecha límite, que es el 24 de octubre, y puede contactar el personal de HEDS o visitar HEDS.org para más información, incluyendo el costo y para completar el formulario de solicitud que está totalmente en línea. Ahora, we want to open uh, uh, the floor for questions from the audience, and since we have our faculty, uh, 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 of the academy here, uh, you could, you could uh, do some questions uh, to them directly. So let me stop stop sharing so we can see each other. You can either use the chat to uh, write your questions or you can open your mic, Bella, uh, your uh, audio uh, to ask any questions. I have been replying some questions on the, on the chat that I saw uh, before, but any other questions is more than welcome. So go ahead. Oh, any comments? Again, uh, I invite the, the faculty as well if they want to share their experience. This is the time. Oh, I'll give more information about, about your, their topics. Not everybody at the same time, please, in order. You bet uh, if you have a question, tienes una pregunta ah, del costo en chat. Ah, okay, yes. El costo, Ruth, uh, and uh, everybody, uh, for the, the four days, include everything, the access to the platform that is Blackboard, uh, and we, uh, we depending on the uh, 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 synchronous sessions and all the materials will be there, and the access to the links, although I every day remember the links, is uh, $5.99 for is the member rate uh, for for the head, uh, the faculty and administrators who work at head member institutions. And if you have doubt if your institution is a member, please send us an email or look on the list of the member institutions uh, to see if that uh, rate applies. If you are not a member, we made like a package of the institution individual membership that it costs 100 per year. And what we did is that for the price of 649, you will have the members rate and also uh, the individual membership uh, together. And then you can save us five, uh, 50 uh, uh, dollars, thousand dollars. So this is the cost. 599 is la tarifa de miembros. Uh, y eh, los que no son, eh, pertenecen a instituciones miembros de HEDS, que no trabajen para algunas de ellas, tenemos una tarifa package que es eh, 649, eso incluye la tarifa de miembro de 599 y el costo de la membresía individual que es 100 dólares se les reduce a la mitad. Así que tienen un, like, a, eh, dos por uno, un, un ahorro del 50% en la membresía y le damos la tarifa de miembros porque la tarifa regular es de 799, si no me equivoco. ¿Alguna que, otra? Yo veo que, en lo, que vi, en lo que se prepara alguna otra pregunta de la audiencia. Eh, Adelante. Vamos a, vamos a darle la oportunidad a la facultad de, sí. de 
que expongan cualquier, cualquier aspecto que quieran exponer, este, incluso los que hayan participado previamente, algún punto que quisieran resaltar, eh, vamos a abrirle el micrófono para que ellos este, también colaboren en ese sentido y escucharlos eh, en lo que viene la próxima pregunta. Si quieres levantar el, el slide donde están todos ellos y lo usamos así. Claro que sí. Bueno, podemos, ellos tienen... Eh... Vi que todos tienen cámara, veo que Francisco tiene sí. cámara, Wilfredo, Lisbel. Nos gustaría verla mejor que, que lo vieran. No sé, mi opinión Giselle, que es nueva, Javier. Eh, Carlos Guevara es el único que veo que tiene su foto. Alice Giovanna, no la veo. Y Ana Milena vi que entró, así que tenemos, entiendo que a todos. Están casi todos, sí. Sí, sí así que eh, este, no, eh, no sean tímidos. Que en la academia no son nada. ¿Quieren que los entreviste? ¿Quieren que los entreviste? Ah, bueno. Los entrevistamos, pero, puedo... da, pero dame el slide, dame el slide para ver la secuencia. Ah, ok, pues te lo, claro que sí, pues para voy, voy para allá, voy para allá. En voy lo que, allá. en lo que. Eh, no sé si lo, está, lo están viendo. Todavía. Ok, pues déjame share my screen. Sí, no, entonces tengo que buscar aquí ah, mi listita. Alguien levantó la mano. Ahí está, Wilfredo, ahí, Wilfredo, 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 adelante, Wilfredo, danos, danos. Danos este, tus impresiones y cualquier aspecto que quieras compartir de, de, de tu rol. Estás en mute. English, in your case. No, no te oigo. No te oigo todavía. Okay. Ahora. Ahora. Yeah. Uh, como, como uh, as a member of the faculty, I'm, I'm very honored. Uh, and the experience I've found is that the academy offers participants a comprehensive overview, as well as a very intimate uh, participatory role in getting a great picture of what distance education has become. My theme has to do with quality and accreditation and the importance of quality and assurance for students for, for the institution. Uh, more and more, the accrediting bodies are looking at what's being delivered online and making sure that it's comparable to what's presented in person. Um, and then I try and add an element of the importance that the participants as leaders in ensuring that what's being delivered, what's being taught, is of the highest quality and that it uh, meets the accreditation standards that our institutions have to fulfill uh, to be accredited. Gracias, mm -hmm. gracias, Wilfredo. And, and you heard Thank that you. From, from a faculty member, but he's also a commissioner. Así que mm -hmm. habla, habla la voz de la experiencia ahí. <laughs> yeah, gracias. From, gracias. from Middle State. Yes. So thank you so much. Uh, yeah, just checking the website and again, I don't want to make any mistake. Yeah, the, the cost is $5.99 uh, for members, that's the member rate and $7.99 for the regular rate. But if you're not a member, you can use the package that I mentioned of $6.49. I see others uh, uh, who else wants to jump in. Carlos Guevara, raise let, let me let me speak before Carlos gives uh, difficult questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I wanted to you know give a quick um, summary of you know the opportunity that you that you will have in looking at the profession of of learning technologies uh, with a wider lens of two hundred sixty degrees, and you know, for those of you who are are in your career that you, you you try to identify what your next step is, right? Having the opportunity to have the conversation with other members in all of the different fields, all of the different themes that we're covering in this uh, academy has been very fruitful. We have received great feedback from uh, former participants who empowered themselves after connecting through this experience and then being able to make the the next steps in their careers. So use this as uh, an opportunity for you to uh, corroborate what you already know and then identify with other perspectives to make sure that you're able to push your career to the next steps. 
Excellent. Thank you so much, Carlos. Well, uh, if anyone else wants to share uh, to conclude, because this was supposed to be at 30 minutes, we send it for 10 more minutes because definitely the insight of the graduates mm -hmm. is very important and also the perspective of the faculty who offers the synchronous sessions. Uh, so please, uh, someone else, uh, I don't see any other reasons, Carlos. Si tienen, you? si tienen tiempo, la facultad y, y pueden, o sea, todos mm -hmm. los que están participando. Oh, eh, ok. Quedarnos un, unos minutitos más para, para el beneficio okay. de la audiencia. Eh, okay. ¿Qué te parece si le damos la oportunidad a la facultad nueva? Que, claro. Que, que se presenten. Bueno, hay que, hay que darle oportunidad a todo el mundo. Este... Bueno, Javier, no, no, ladies somos... first, so Lisbel o, o Giselle y después vamos Javier darle, que tenía la mano. A, ahí está Giselle levantando la mano. Adelante, go ahead, doctor, doctor Tapia. Well, hello again, en inglés. Hello again, everybody. I'm Dr. Giselle Tapia. I'm one of the new ones. So uh, I'm going to be sharing uh, the theme, instructional design and curriculum with you. I'm very excited. And also I feel very, um, not proud. Well, I feel proud, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I forgot the word, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I will be seeing you. I hope I'll see you in the Academy this next month. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, Yes, hi. Um, well, um, I'm also a new faculty member, and I'm so honored to be invited by HETS and you, Elkis, and specifically uh, Carlos Morales. Um, I will be talking about the topic, Instruction and Curriculum Design. This is one of my favorite topics, and I usually teach this to doctoral and um, master's degree students for several year, years. Um, I think that Gloria mentioned earlier the word pandemic, and all institution in a way was effective affected um, because of the pandemic and also the way we are used to um, create content with uh, time ahead and also design curriculum. We, we see that many um, accreditation offices has let us make substantial changes in order to uh, continue the education, but we're going to talk about how we can um, make quality curriculum uh, and instructional design to adapt this to the new trending education uh, process. It's not basically to only virtual learning, um, but what learners um, expect to receive during this teaching and learning process. So I've been, uh, um, well, I'm a faculty member, but now I'm the director mm -hmm. of the um, graduate and advanced uh, department. Um, we've been like almost two years in that position, but as a faculty member, I have uh, collaborated and, and worked as an advisor to many faculty members and they struggle a lot during this process because basically much institutions, they don't have um, a proper maybe department that is uh, always working with them one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, I was the first, um, I had the first position in the, the system as an instructional and multimedia designer. So at that moment, I was like in 2009, uh, basically. So at that moment, the way that the faculty um, design the courses was, you know, wasn't properly or maybe uh, adapted. You know, as we know how to do it right now. So I, I just look forward to share my experience with you and maybe um, we will have maybe common experiences and establish some new strategies or work on some strategies that could be adapted on many institutions to just help them go forward and, and for the quality of their programs. Thank you. Thank you and welcome. Gracias. And Javier was the other one who raised his hand. Javier. Uh, well, good afternoon to everyone. My name is Javier Zavala. I'm gonna be, you know, working with uh, uh, with you, the data and digital learning, uh, and you know, data is knowledge. So maybe it's a very important, you know, thing that we have to consider 
uh, and it's one of I think that is one of the things that is changing very fast, you know, in higher ed. Uh, accreditation agencies and everyone is asking for more information, and you have to, you know, uh, bring that information uh, in a precise way and uh, have to be very accurate information. So uh, uh, I would like I would like you know to mention that I have the honor to be part of the first two academias and uh, the English and Spanish version. And one of the things that I really enjoyed in both of them was uh, the exchange of information that we have mm -hmm. both ways, you know, uh, and, and for making a, a, a very quick joke uh, with my colleagues of Colombia, uh, we both speak Spanish, but uh, we have different meanings for the same mm. word sometimes. So in my session last time with them, it was a very, you know, very, a very good opportunity, you know, to, to, to see that maybe, you know, we have a lot of things in common, but also we have a, a, a lot of things that make us different. Eh, y en español, ¿verdad? Porque como hablamos en, en ambos mm -hmm. idiomas, pues nada, este, la experiencia que tuve, el intercambio que se da, en ambas direcciones, en, en verdad, en, en las sesiones que tenemos es extraordinario. Este, mencioné que pues, data es, eh, o datos eh, es conocimiento, así que en ese sentido cada vez más eh, tenemos que tener buena información, que sea información precisa este, y que sea ¿verdad? a tiempo para tomar buenas decisiones como administradores, como profesores. Y dependiendo del área donde estemos, ¿verdad? Tenemos que tener, ¿verdad? Esa, esa información para, para tomar nuestras decisiones. Y pues comenté rápidamente de una experiencia que tuve con nuestros colegas de Colombia, que aunque hablamos español ambos, pues tenemos a veces diferentes, ¿verdad? Definiciones para los mismos conceptos. Y pues fue una, un intercambio muy interesante y muy enriquecedor. Así que este, espero que de verdad tengan la oportunidad de compartir con nosotros. And thanks for the opportunity to be with you. Excellent. Pues, eh, we have also another uh, Zoom meeting uh, with the ambassador students that will be selected for this semester, and we have a training with them at 4 p.m. So we don't, and I know that others have a lot of commitments. So we truly appreciate your time again, and thank you for staying with us uh, after 3:30 uh, because the info session was supposed to be 30 minutes, but it's so important all your comments uh, to motivate uh, others to join this initiative that um, um, I was part of all the academies editions. So I enjoy every group, all the interactions. I learn a lot as well. So um, I will be uh, thrilled to have this experience again. And uh, Dr. Morales as chairman of HIT, if you want to like do the closing remark, it will be great. Bueno, eh, gracias a todos los lo que están aquí en la audiencia. Thank you, everybody that has expressed an interest in the uh, Learning Technologies Academy from HEADS. Mm -hmm. Así que esperamos que, que esta sesión le haya a, ayudado un poco más a tomar su decisión. Eh, mm -hmm. También le quiero agradecer a la facultad que esta tarde ha estado acá disponible para eh, compartir su, su experiencia, sus impresiones y obviamente ¿verdad? también cómo van a abordar el, el tema. So thank you for, for sharing that, that perspective on how you, you plan to cover uh, your, your topics. Uh, with that said, thank you everybody and, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Any questions, any doubts, there is the in email info at head.org or you can also send me texts or WhatsApp uh, any of them uh, to my mobile. And thank you again. And I hope that you will uh, consider submit your uh, Bella, apply for the Academy and be part of the next of the third edition. Have a wonderful afternoon and happy weekend. It's a Friday. So happy weekend to all. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let me stop the recording. And we will be sharing the recording on our website and also in our social media. If you want to share this recording with others that couldn't join us today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.